Welcome back. Time now 620 and the Nebraska Correctional Center for Women in York. The culture behind bars is changing for the inmates thanks to the use of dance as a form of therapy. I have this morning's special report. People are not in prison because something good happened. Their pasts are very usually tragic if they choose to share it. When you come here, it's like you, you're stripped of all your hope. This is video of Sarah Collin in 2014. There's no stand by what you said was the truth of what happened that day. <laughs> Sobbing but silent. The then 25 year old was sentenced to 70 years to life for intentional child abuse resulting in death. If I could take it back, if I could take everything back, I would, but I can't. So for now, this is my restoration is giving back is becoming better. For Colin, remorse is now channeled into rhythm. The people have spoken, they want to take the heat. Yeah. To the right. Yeah. 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 The brains behind this idea of therapy through dance is Lucy Wallace from Colorado. It touches on everything that the body needs to heal. In 2015, Wallace started Dance to be Free for inmates at a Denver women's prison. I knew the combo of expressive, cathartic, emotional music and choreography would be able to help them release pain. <laughs> Wallace branched out of Colorado and started training inmates as instructors. Hold it there, grapevine to the left. Nebraska was Wallace's first stop out of state. The twice a week activity is now a favorite at NCCW. You're an inmate out there, but the moment you come in here, you're just women. Dance to be free is serving its purpose as a healthy way to express emotions. She's crying. <laughs> You forget where you're at. You forget that you are in prison. For lifelong dancer Miranda Gillett. Pump it two times each side. Being an instructor has given her meaning. Give it some swag, girl. And motivation. I learned how to have a voice for myself, and I want that voice to be positive to the community that I, that I go back into. Inmate Holly Chambers says dancing has helped tone down her temper. I, I love that feeling. I love that joy that I get when I'm dancing, when I'm just moving around. She hopes to be dancing with her daughters when she paroles later this year. As for Colin, dancing is helping her cope with her shame and guilt. Push it! And it's forcing her to face some issues she wishes she would have addressed when she was truly free. I just want people to see the humanity behind these walls, you know, because we have a lot to give and I'm determined to still give that from here. I'm gonna keep it running cause the winner don't play on them Emily Zink, 3 News Now.